to explain to you what's going to be going on in today's video, okay? Because, I mean, it's not going to be crazy. It's just going to be me painting for an assignment that I haven't turned in. And I don't know if it's already going to be considered late. Well, it is already considered late, but I don't know if my assignment's going to be locked. Anyways, so it's a master copy. Now, what is a master copy? A master copy is an artwork that you recreate of one of the masters. Who are the masters? Um, I don't know. Like Van Gogh, um, Leonardo da Vinci, um, all the other ones. Yeah, because like Picasso, you know what I mean? Um, Michelangelo, all those, all those good artists. That's what, those are considered masters. So like the old, old artists. Anyways, so this is what I have so far, okay? Give me a second. I'll be right back. This is what I have so far. Now, it's not going to look the right size because it's inverted because it's facing the camera is um, selfie mode. But this is how it's looking so far. Now I'm gonna show you the original, okay? And I'll post a picture right here of the original. But it's not quite done yet. I still need to obviously put in more details and stuff, but or I'm gonna try to finish this today so I can upload it today and stop worrying about it. So yeah. So that's all the video is gonna be about. <laughs> speed mode because it's gonna take a long time and Luna can you give me that paper right there and this is the master copy I will also be using my does it show no put it over here that put it yeah. right there yeah she is my video um, photographer do I show only not the top that much oh uh, it doesn't matter and so I'm going to be using my laptop here as a mask, as a mask, as a, so I can look at the reference photo. So we're going to get started. Um, I have my supplies over here and I will not be showing how to mix the colors because that's going to be extra time and extra storage on my phone that I do not have. Um, anyways, let's get started. I hope you guys like the audio that I chose for the last clips. I think they're so funny. But I'm just going to do a voice recording of uh, what I'm doing in the paintings, okay? If you can't hear me, um, then you can't hear me. But it's because I don't have my AirPods in. So. But so right now I'm just like washing it. Well, not washing it. Just putting in the main colors that I'm going to be using. Like the blues, the oranges, the browns. I'm just going to be putting the colors uh, but more thicker. Just so that I can know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And so in this part, I'm going in like a little bit more, what's it called? Precise. And trying to like round up some edges, you know, make them better. My phone fell. Um, you know, and stuff like that. And putting in more color and just defining it better. So, this is how far I've gotten so far. Y'all see that shit? Y'all see that shit, boy? Y'all see that thick paint on there? It's still um, wet, so I'm not going to touch it, but I was really focusing right here on the, on the black frame. This one, the thicker one, and it was annoying the fuck out of me. And I was like, boy, you should be able But I'm not, I'm not really focusing on the details. I'm just like putting stuff in for right now because if i do then i'm gonna take longer and <laughs> i don't want to take longer and it's already like nine something and i'm planning on turning this in tonight so yeah i think i'm gonna start outlining and maybe do some of the floor because I, took my little it, I mean it's dry but it needs some details right here like touches so need to do that but for now, I'm just going to be taking a little break. Little Look break. It. I took out. Why did you do that? Because I can put it back. 
Oh. I'm taking a little break because I just need to get out of the get off of the painting and um not focus on it for right now. So I'm just gonna be in my room chilling. And then we'll get back on the painting. Oh, this is a toe I made. It's very cute. It's a tiger print and yeah. Oh my god, my god, we're gonna Okay, so for this part, I'm just adding more details, you know, to the painting and then putting in color to the places that need to be filled. And right now I'm doing the portraits. Um, Up close, they don't look like portraits. I don't know how he made them, like, because in the original painting, you see that they're portraits. Like, you can clearly see he used, like, a little tiny brush. I don't know. Far away, they look like portraits. But up close in my painting, they don't look like portraits. They just look like splodges of paint. Um... And then I'm just using my palette knife to create the green wooden texture, which I'm like questioning it. I'm like, um, why didn't you use like a dark brown? But the green emphasizes it and I feel like it just makes the whole piece come together. You know what I mean? With the blues and the yellows that he used because it's more cool tone. But I don't know. I don't know. We never know. But then I'm just adding the line details and just, you know, cleaning it up. So... I'm done. Yay, I got a good angle. Okay, so the painting is done. I'll insert a picture of how it looks up close. Okay, now that you saw it up close, because I'm too lazy to take it out of this, I had to take a picture because I needed to upload it to the teacher. But look at how ugly my t-shirt is now. Um, but that's why you have old clothes, so you can paint it. Okay, um, so the struggles that I found doing the master copy. So, number one, I don't play, paint very loose. And in this painting, it's obviously very loose. I, I'm not used to doing that, so it's very difficult to try to be loose and not so um, uptight. Not uptight, but so firm with my paintings or trying to make it look good or perfect like exactly how it is because like well that's the whole point of the master copy but like i feel like you can get to like you can't not get to the exact painting because obviously you are not the painter that created the painting but i did obviously try and i feel like i got the thickness of the paint good and i got the lines good but um i feel like um, some of the lines are thicker than others that are not supposed to be thick, so that's a thing for sure. Um, and I feel like the colors, like the blues, it's, it's not very, even in the, in the, in, cause the printed, the printed color, I mean, <laughs> the printed, the printed paper doesn't, get a lot of color like the color looks super dull but in the like you look up online like the bedroom painting by van gogh and it's obviously a little bit more bright well, let me show you it to you on my computer so you know what i'm talking about so like like obviously it won't look like this one you know the colors are more like a little bit vibrant. This one's a little bit more dull from the from the from the piece of paper, but it's good to have like a piece of paper to know like what you're doing, right? Um, so yeah, I feel like the colors I didn't match them correctly or like um, you know what I mean, like perfectly, um, obviously, and um. Yeah, because it's like different from the paper and it's different from like the online thing. Um, I feel like my lines are kind of wonky, so I didn't really work out. I was like shaking when I was doing that. But other than that, I feel like I did pretty well for like my first master copy because this is like the first actual attempt I did. And um, I think I did pretty well. Uh, it didn't come out exactly like the painting, you know, but it came out similar looking. So that's like good. And I don't know, I'm overall happy with the painting. Um, I don't know. If somebody wants it, you can have it. <laughs> you can have it. Let, just let me know. Just let me know if you want the painting. I'll literally give it to you. Like, I'll literally reach out to you and be like, okay, uh, 
Where should I mail it to? Because why the hell not? Boy, why the hell not? I won't use my address, uh, but I'll mail it up to you. Um, but yeah, I kind of found it difficult to like this. These are his por portraits. And from far away, it's like, okay, yeah. But you get up close and it looks stupid and it just looks mm, not that great. But I think I did pretty well. Because you can see in the page, they're kind of like sketched out. I think my painting, it's just color added to make it look like the portraits. But it's really not a portrait when you look up close. Um, and then with the cool tone colors like the blue, um, I didn't really know because uh, how to match it to like the dullness. Like it's not dull, but it's not like a bright blue and the white chroma because white has a lot of chroma in it because it's white. So it's obviously going to appear brighter if you add white and blue. So to uh, minimize the chroma, I um, added a little bit of the complementary color, which is orange. Not a lot, just a little so it can like minimize the chroma. And that's how I got um, the blue. Um, but I feel like I should have added more chrome because it still looks very bright to me. But overall, it looks good with the whole painting. You know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know. I found it very, very fun to do. Um, the chairs, I feel like they kind of got like, they obviously this chair doesn't look like that chair. That chair looks more like it's facing towards, you know. Um, I feel like the bed's good. This I could have added more detail. Um, I could have added like a little bit of white to the blue black background here or a little bit of yellow because you can see a little bit of yellow. You know what I mean? Like a hint of yellow in there, like a pale like yellow egg yellow not egg yellow but just a little bit of yellow like just a teeny tiny like the littlest thing um yeah overall i think it's good i should have added the black last like for this part just because i found it difficult um trying to take away some black and i just started like spreading everywhere which is obviously like my bad even though i knew i was just being lazy um but I think overall, I think I kind of nailed this one down. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I did a good job, but I should have taken more time doing it. Like I should have let it dry first, like to get more layers onto the painting, and so I could add the the outlines because I feel like that would have made it look more cleaner and more better. But I don't know. At the same time, it looks like. Van Gogh didn't really let it dry. He just did it like that, but I feel like he must have let it dry for some days so he could have added like the outlines and stuff just to make it look like their outlines. Cause right here it looks like it just looks like it's blended in with the colors, you know, and I don't know, it's just thought, just a thought. But overall, I think I did pretty well. Um and yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video here. So if you like the video, um, thank you for watching. <laughs> what the? Bruh. Oh my god. So if you like the video, uh, care to subscribe if you feel like it. And if not, um, that's okay. I really don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. This is the first time I'm doing an outro. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. And um, I hope you have a good day. And uh, I need to really go to sleep because it's like about to be midnight. And I really need some sleep because, yeah. But thank you for watching. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Just kidding.